Hey, YouTube, it's your girl, Tammy C. Walker, owner of Dreams Are Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How you all doing out there? It is going, things are going good here outside of Chicago. It was hot today, upper 80s. I think someone told me 91. So um, I don't know about our weather. It's weird. It'll be 60 something, I think, Saturday and Sunday. So we get pretty hot in the summertime, but our summertime, it can start early May or late May. It's even been June when it's chilly here and it can get as hot as hundred degrees. So we don't know what we get. We just take, we take what we can you all and enjoy our summer. So I hope that you're having a good week. We're at Tuesday. Um, I wanted to talk about something. So this video is going to be about how our tragedies reinvent us. And I wanted to speak about that because I kind of was thinking about my life. And I remember I always talked about, you know, having cancer and that story and being off on short-term disability for probably a couple of months just to take care of myself with the chemotherapy. You know, I had lost my hair and just all the things that comes with having cancer. But it ended up being like a time of reinvention, reflection. So I was so concerned about being sick and being, you know, and I was sick from the chemo and losing my hair. And that was uh, very disheartening. But I ended up staying with my mom for like two weeks. And I ended up going to bed at 1 a.m. and getting up at 1 p.m. So that was my routine. You know, I can get up late because I didn't have to go to work. But I ended up sleeping like, you know, for hours. I got more sleep than normal. My mom was helping, you know, to take care of me, spoiling me, which I fought that. I didn't even want to stay with her because of I'm so used to being independent. Then I remember different friends were like coming over. You want to go out to eat? You want to go out for dinner? And so I ended up really having a great time. After, you know, healing a couple of years later, I'm more like uh, three years later, that's when I started being the life coach. I became a life coach, which four years later led me to going back to school for my master's in social work, which led me to be a therapist. So I'm just saying all that to say all roads lead to something greater. Sometimes it's during our worst moments that we really discover ourselves. Haven't you heard of people, they've gotten laid off from their job, and that's when they take the plunge and start their own business or go back to school. Or what about someone that ends up getting a divorce and they relocate to a new state and meet the person of their dreams? Or sometimes it's after we lose our parents or, you know, after the birth of a son or daughter that someone changes their ways. I know someone that was a gangbanger here in Chicago for years. And after the birth of a child, it converted this person over and, you know, no, he's no more, he's not in that life anymore. And he's doing very well. This is 30 years later, but it just shows you how an event, it doesn't have to always be tragic. That was a good event, but a milestone event, a, a pivotal event can put you on the path to something greater. And, you know, speaking of a tragic event, like George Floyd's, Floyd's passing, he wasn't, right? it wasn't his passing, he was murdered. He was just senselessly murdered in cold blood. And if it wasn't for COVID, would, would the world have paused enough to really watch that? We're so busy going to and fro. We're all on our cell phones. We're all running back and forth to work like maniacs, like a hamster on a wheel, many of us. And, you know, we're running our kids to soccer, to basketball, to football, to gymnastics. It's so much going on. The pace is so fast. If it wasn't for COVID, we probably wouldn't have paused as much and paid attention to the injustice that happened to George Floyd. And so it shows you during tragedy, that we can uh, pause and, and really, I don't know, that tragedy, it just changed some things. What? I'm not 100% sure, but we finally saw some justice done. 
to those police that senselessly murdered him. And yeah, all of them, to me, all of them. Because if you didn't try to stop it, what are you doing? But I guess this video is to say, um, when you're down and out from a tragedy, if it's like an illness, pause and reflect and use that time to rebuild your life. Same with COVID. We had to work at home. We couldn't go out anymore. People use that time to rebuild their life. First, they said the stimulus was causing people not to go back to work. That wasn't enough money. Then they said the unemployment was causing people not to go back to work. Yeah, you know, some people were doing well. The PPP loans, which people are in jail as we speak because they fraud, they were fraudulent, getting that money. Now, why? why? I, I, I can't figure that part out, but they were. Um, but after the unemployment ran out, PPP ran out, the stimulus, you know, ended, people still did not go back to work because they had time to pause and think and reflect. And they were like, these jobs, they're not, they're not right. I can make more doing my own business. I can make more in another field. I have had time to really think I'm not happy. I want to spend more time with my family. This happened, one of the top doctors here in Chicago that would be on TV with Governor Pritzker, you know, announcing the COVID cases, announcing the positivity rate. Well, Dr. Ngozi, and I do not know her last name, but um, she went on to bigger and better things. And she said what she was doing, it was taking her away from her family and time. She needed to get her time back. So I'm just showing you, like, it could be what you consider the worst time in your life or a pivotal time, but it can put you on the path to where you're supposed to be. And you notice, like, I know it used to be like this at church. When someone was down and out, they're on drugs, their daughter or son is going wayward, they're getting a divorce. Those would be the times they would come to church, heartbroken, they lost their job. They would come to church because that tragic moment, it, you know, it causes you to pause because when you're heartbroken or down and out, you just want that pain to go away. So you'll come to church. And a lot of times that's when people would change their lives. So I think the key is when you put yourself on that good path is to stick with it. Don't do it just for a band-aid. Do it and make it become a way of life. So next time this happens to you, I want you to think before you panic and say, oh, why is this happening? Maybe stop and say, what is this trying to tell me? Can I use this time to change my life? Can I be reflective and put a spin on it? What, what do they say? Make lemons out of lemonade? Put a positive spin on something that's deemed negative. Well, I just had that on my mind. Nothing um, long and drawn out today. And I hope you're doing well. And welcome to my channel, everyone. And I haven't forgot about my NACA video. I am quite busy, but I will definitely get to that NACA video. I promise you that. Okay, you all take care and have a good evening. Bye-bye.